Uh, yeah. I want to say something. So I'm like, John, and Pastor Cal was like, "Look, this this ninja, this ninja, <laughs> this ninja <laughs> needs to get." All right, well, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin. I'm Tarsha, and she's checking her glasses because we are conversations with the Crawleys. Where we have conversations about faith, family, love, relationships, and our favorite TV shows. This video is all about Married at First Sight. Listen, we are at decision day, y'all. Make a decision. Decisions have been made, and we're going to talk about it. So listen, if this is content that you enjoy, make sure you're hitting the subscribe button, hit the like button, request notifications, and join us in the comments, because there's some stuff to talk about in this episode, right? Did this, anybody say anything in the comments who they were thinking? No, we all people just thanked us for for our opinion, and I think we were a hundred percent on all of our predictions. But we'll kind of dig through and talk about what happened as they made their decisions and the drama that at least one couple of y'all know who we're talking about mm. went through six hours, y'all. Yes, six hours. All I right. Know why I was speaking in tongues? Let's. <laughs> Lord. She literally was over here yeah, yeah. praying, casting out devils and all that stuff. Okay. <laughs> all right. So Ryan and Clara jump it off. Um, there is still no I love you for them. Yeah. Um, we figured that they would stay together. Just curious as to how strong it's going to be as they continue forward. Right. Because he admittedly moves slow, right? Uh, yeah. They're slow <laughs> and then there's, they're slow and then there's dude. Make a decision, <laughs> move forward. Oh my god, he's crawling with it, right? Crawling in the words. So she says, though, that he is their her healthiest relationship. Yeah, I guess that's saying a lot. <laughs> I'm assuming it's saying a lot. I guess you know, because in the past, right? She really says that it was, I, it sounds like it was focused more on the physical, right? And emotionally, and in other ways, there wasn't connections with her previous relationship. Mm -hmm. So maybe this was good for her in a way. You know, we don't know what happened off camera. Again, right. we're only getting parts of it. Right. But if she's happy and, hey, she's getting what she needs, God bless her. Yeah. So <laughs> That's all I can say. here's the thing I, about Ryan, though, that. It's been to me. It's been kind of obvious throughout the 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 season, but it was really obvious during the whole you know their decision process. He says a lot, but he says nothing. <laughs> he talks an awful lot, uses a lot of words, but really doesn't say anything. Because I mean, he um and on. Yes, I recognize that they're cutting to and splicing right. together things, what have you. But he he just says a lot of things that sound together sound good, but they just kind of take you nowhere. Yeah, um, maybe that's something in the area he can grow in. You know, yeah. since they're now officially they're married, officially official, right. official. They well, they've been, eight weeks. they've been official. They they continue it on, so they continue right. the marriage. So. so hey, the best. I wish them the best. Right. Kudos to them. Yes. We thought that they were a couple that would probably right. stay together. Right. I thought maybe she'd be like, I ain't putting up with this. <laughs> but I, at the end of the day, when we have to think about marriage, it's about growth. Right. And if this is an area she did need to grow in and to learn from, mm -hmm. then this wasn't, wasn't a great opportunity to do it. In, so yeah. Excited. Um, and then the one that we, we still said that they probably would not stay together. However... We recognized and thought, eh, they could. Th if there was going to be a surprise out of this season, yeah, they would have. This been is the couple that would have been the surprise. Correct. So Haley and Jacob is that couple that could have been a surprise. Right. We we think their fate was sealed early on in some respects. <laughs> they just and it really for them, I think it was just a lot of of disconnect and miscommunication. Yeah, I guess they couldn't get out of each other's way. Yeah. You know, they focused a lot on the negative and what they didn't like about each other mm -hmm. and really poked at that. It's like having a sore and right. you keep picking at it when it's trying to heal. Yeah. And that's kind of how I felt about their situation. There is going to be things you're not going to like about the other party. Mm -hmm. And they may, that may not change gradually. Yeah. It may take a, a long time. 
But if that's the only thing you're focused on, then yeah, you're, you're definitely going to end up divorced. Right. And I guess that's what it, it pushed them to is towards those areas. I mean, they had their fun moments. They mm-hmm. really knew each other. They knew each other the best of all the couples, which was, you know. It's just odd. But. What they said in the the decision that kind of gives me a clue as to why they knew each other as well as they did, Mm -hmm. but it didn't work. She did make the statement that it seemed like it was just heavy, like they were always having these heavy conversations. Mm -hmm. So she never got the chance to experience the fun side. Mm -hmm. Well, not saying she never did, but for her, for her, it was more heavy than it was fun. Right. 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 There has to be a balance. Right. You only have eight weeks because you gotta, right. you have to have those conversations. Right. You don't have time, so I don't know if they ever ch- if thought about dating now. Right. And not being having to make such a big decision, maybe that could have worked. Because there is the difference, but you want it to grow organically. Right. And yes, you do give it some direction to say, okay, we need to figure this out about each other. We need to right. find this out. We need to know this. So yes, there are those moments where you got to figure things out. But at the same time, it should be an organic growth that says oh, we're going to yeah. move this along. So Because normally people have time to date, right? right? And even during that dating process, you probably wouldn't do a lot of heavy stuff. Again, you're mm-hmm. having fun. Mm-hmm. You're enjoying each other. You find out things gradually and right. naturally. Right. And they didn't have that opportunity to do that. Yeah. So it just didn't work out well for their personalities, I think. This wasn't the best option for them to go in trying to find a mate. Um, and then we're going to jump around a little bit, but um, Vincent and Brianna, who, yes, I think from like week two or week three, we're like, yeah, they, yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're going to be together. They're yeah. going to stake it out. They're going to make it work, you know, and I think Brianna said it the best is like, I thought I wasn't going to be doing any changing, but mm-hmm. you bring out the best in me. Right. You're, you're helping me to grow. Yes. And those are words you want to hear. Your marriage is supposed to help you grow. Exactly. It, it helps you to explore different parts of yourself, increase um, your being an individual and as a couple, mm-hmm. you know. So I feel like they have a great future. I can't wait, you know, mm-hmm. like I'm like I'm going to be there when they have kids. Like, I can't wait to see no, the kids. Hanging out with them. But you yeah. know, we, you never know, you know, but <laughs> I'm just saying, I really appreciate them. Mm -hmm. Um, They've been like the mentors of the group. They have, yeah. They took on a very uh, strong leadership role. People Mm -hmm. trust them and spoke to them about what was going on in their marriage. And so, um, I think I think they're gonna be they're gonna be a powerhouse couple. Yeah. Now we did. We I think you did say something when we were watching it that um, Vincent may need some counseling. Oh, yeah. I mean, about the part about him feeling like she's so direct right. and that she's rude. And I, I feel like anyone who may get a little bit overly emotional right. about someone trying to help them, you know, I, I think he needs to explore that. Right. Like, why do I feel this way when my wife talks to me this way? Right. Why I don't see the the good out of what she's trying to share with me. I mean, that and why do I get oversensitive about something that it didn't go right, right? Because right. he wants everything to be perfect. Right. So there are things that I think that just so that their marriage can stay healthy. Oh, yeah. I think that, and, and not saying that he needs it only by himself. Oh, but no. I think that together, there are yes. some things that they could benefit from yes. just in communication and oh, how right. to, you know, work things out. So Well, and... In- Previous se- um, seasons, we've seen the couples who stay together have gone to counseling right. afterwards because, again, they've been put in a very awkward position. Right. Um. So some of those couples have um, seeked out marital, <gasps> excuse me, assistance. Yeah. And because also, I mean, you think about it, there's the pressure of you get cameras ar- all around. And so now what happens? How do you live without the cameras? Right. right? Um. The couple that that. We again, I thought that they would stay together. Yeah, I think in our prediction, we said that um, it would not surprise us if in a year they were end up um, broken up, Eric and Virginia. Yeah, um, you know, again, I just don't like the way um, he's expecting so much so soon, right? Right, because he's like asking her, like, Why well, I'm not your number one, you're my number one, you're my right. best friend. 
I'm thinking, like, do you really have friends? Because she had friends. He got those kind of vibes where it's like, I might end up locking you away in a basement type <laughs> of stuff. Because he, he's just that uh, possessive in some respects. Now, yeah. there are some things that he did have. I, I agree with him on as far as like her sleeping at her friend's house and Correct. and being so drunk that and she the has, cats have to be in the bed. Yeah, about the pets and he's so allergic. She's not completely blameless in some of this stuff. No, but I think that he his his vibes that he gives off is just. I don't know. I just I just feel like you do have to gain someone's trust. Mm-hmm. And if that's easy for you, then for her, right. don't put so much pressure on that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's where I kind of felt like he was doing. He was, he was, it felt like pressure. Yeah. It felt like, well, why can't I be your number one? I want to be your number one. Why, why your friends? Because yes, she has known her friends for years. She right. met you eight weeks ago, dude. Right. Calm down. Relax. Relax. Take a break, right. Um, yeah, but I think, you know, I think we agree that their toxicity is almost perfect for each other, right? Right. Their toxicity together is kind of what <laughs> will will help them to continue it's on. It's possible. It's working for other they, couples. Hey, so. they feed off of it each other. All right. Now the couple that y'all are here for. <laughs> the couple that y'all know y'all have to hear Ooh, what we have to say about Jesus. Them. My God. Go ahead. This I'll couple. let you start. Because I'm like that, uh, what was the one at the end where he was cocked to the side looking like, mm. Well, the dog was giving the side eye, too. Uh, no, that, but, but that was at the end. Okay. I'm talking about when they were Oh, Dr. Day. Vivian or whatever? Yeah, Dr. Dr. Vivian. I'm looking like Dr. Vivian. Dr. Like, Vivian was like, look. Yeah. I want to say something. To, I'm like, John And Pastor Cal was like, look, this, this ninja, this ninja, <laughs> this ninja <laughs> needs to get himself together. <laughs> If I could take Listen. You, no, I was like, if I could take him out. Ah. All right, so. Oh, my God. Do you want to start with him manipulating her? And, we'll, we'll start because mm-hmm. he, he comes in. They they sit down. They start talking. He is still delusional. Um, He says. He, he, talk about Chris. Talk about Chris. If you don't know by now, you know. Okay, let's just. He starts talking about, you know, how he starts talking about all these things. And he says she struggled to protect his feelings. Oh yeah, when he yeah. was doing the little intro. Yeah. So yeah, because yeah, because we were we were about to fast forward through some of the stuff. Yeah, because it's the like some of the stuff just over, over and over, and over again. again. But I was like, no, I need to hear what he's got to like, say. Fine, cause... go ahead, because I don't know. Go ahead. And then she watch. says she keeps coming back because she was hopeful. So right. that kind of to me sets up what we're about to see because she is hopeful about this entire process, but he is still deflecting. A lot of what's happened, pointing fault with her, right? Well, at least in the video when they're doing to the lead up, right? But then when we get to the decision yes. day, he's giving her all the kudos. You are the best thing that I never I'm cherished. Like, I know. Go ahead, continue. You're what I needed in a wife. Yep, I know. Continue. So he says all of that, right? <laughs> I'm like, you now this. I don't know if you caught this, but this is a clue about the manipulation before what you pointed out as major manipulation. It really not. This wasn't necessarily manipulation, but this was his narcissistic side coming mm-hmm. out, or really, I should say, his insecure side coming out. Oh, because yeah. um, she said, "There's a lot of attributes that I still admire about him." Mm-hmm. Oh, what are they? Mm-hmm. Because he needs to have that validation. He needs yep. to have that feeling. He needs someone to run after him. Right. Somebody. To, so then, you know, he, we find out that Mercedes had a miscarriage. Correct. Right. So we're tragic. We, it's, it's upsetting. Right. You're Wow. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yes. But what does that have to do with right now? And me making a decision. Because you already made the decision. Right. You tell me you feel like you're still in love with this person. Mm -hmm. And And you're going to have a baby. And you bought her a car. So she had a miscarriage. But to me, that's separate from you still having feelings and supposedly want to be with this. Even though the young lady says they're not together. Right. So that's that's mixed up. Mm-hmm. You can't make clear decisions. Mm-hmm. So again, I feel for your loss. You were expecting to have a child. I'm so sorry to hear that. Mm-hmm. 
but you make up this big production. Right. You run out mm-hmm. saying, oh, I, if I if I could have called you earlier, knowing that you at you any time number, dude. you could pick up the phone, even text like, hey, I lost, you know, we lost the baby, mm-hmm. you know, um, I have a lot going on again. But again, that's separate from her. You decided to move on. Right. Why drag her back into your life? Right. So you make all this and then you run out. Mm-hmm. Like literally run out and get in your car. Right. And she runs after him. And I wouldn't have ran after him. I'm like, uh, Pascal, you want to go check on the brother? Because <laughs> I'm going to sit here on the couch. Mm-hmm. Because I'm tired of running after him. Mm-hmm. I'm tired of the emotion. Now all of a sudden you're saying, because the baby's not here. Or you're now, not having a baby. Now you recognize the value. Now you have. recognize the value. Now mean. you say I should. Now all of a sudden in. you're gonna be back. You just told this woman that you might still be in love with her. Right. So you were telling this woman stuff. You were giving her fifty thousand, forty thousand dollar car mm-hmm. for supposedly your baby, and thinking about getting her in the house. Mm-hmm. You're doing all this for her. Mm-hmm. I'm trying not to tap the table, mm-hmm. and so. Now I'm supposed to be running after you mm-hmm. and supporting you. Mm-hmm. I give Paige a little bit of kudos because I couldn't, I would not have done that. I would have waited, have Pastor Cal go out. Mm-hmm. You know, he does need to be checked on. Mm-hmm. He has a loss. He lost someone he was believing was going to be a child. Right. That's hard. Absolutely. That's none of my business. Right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm a believer. Christ. It's, I'm so sorry for your loss. I'll pray for you. I hope everything goes right for your life. Um, I'm sorry but, to hear but that. But you committed to a marriage process with me. Yeah. So, um, and so he's in the car. He is. So you said he wasn't crying. He said, "Touch your hand." Let us know in the comments if y'all saw tears. I didn't see no tears. I didn't I said, see tears. What? Well, I, I thought maybe, and I looked. And he I'm did like, a lot of this, a lot of this, a lot of that. I don't remember. I don't. Is I didn't well see tears. Because so, you know, when you cry, you you can at least see the tears forming in the eyes. I I didn't see it. I thought he was leaving well enough. Maybe I don't he, know. He, he might have sprayed to, a little something in his eyes, but I, I don't. Mm-mm. I don't know. It's, I don't trust it. I don't. With him, it's hard, and I'm. I am again. My condolence. I'm so sorry for Absolutely. the miscarriage. But to me, to utilize that very because tragic situation. He used, he used it to interfere with the marriage. Mm-hmm. And now he's using it, if we're honest, yeah. he's using it to try and repair his image or repair the relationship or what have you. So the fact that she lost the child, because because they even make the statement, I forget who it was, but make the statement, would he be saying this if she did not have the miscarriage? Correct. Which is a great question, which we'll never, of course, know the answer to. Because he didn't answer it. But with his behavior, right, that does not sound like an off question to ask. And then at the end, right, because they cut the tape at the time, mm-hmm. we we know like okay, something transpired, but they could cut the tape because they come back in, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, he's talking for her. Like, she hasn't made a decision. Well, even before that. We yeah. haven't made a decision. I'm like, mm-hmm. what? Why are you making decisions for her? But before that, when they come in, the thing I, Paige is, Paige, I think Paige, and she, well, she has therapists, I think. We, we yes, found, she right? indicated she has therapists. But she, she apologizes for him running out. Right. When they come back in, she's like, I'm sorry, I apologize for that. Baby girl, you had nothing to apologize and that's for that what they situation. Told her. Like, why would you feel like you felt necessary to apologize? There's nothing for her to apologize that he ran out. You chased out. You apologize for chasing after him. Apologize <laughs> to yourself for chasing after him. Yeah. Okay. Because I was like, baby girl, you need to sit right here because you can't give him that energy. No. Because that's what he feeds off of. Right. I was like, you don't created a soul tie with this person that needs to be broken. Listen broken like get some oil girl like you need to have some devotion time and not just some olive oil you need some oil straight from jerusalem okay straight from have some oil prayed on you somebody i'm put on you and prayed over because to me i'm like 
And she admits, she's like, well, I was trying to keep hope, mm-hmm. blah, 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 mm-hmm. and everything. But then they were like, no, a decision needs to be made today. Right. And the therapist, I forget, Dr. Vivian, Vivian at mm-hmm. the end, she was like, hold on. I don't like this. Right. I don't like how you keep going back and forth with her. Mm-hmm. You keep going back and forth with us. And then he starts to get defensive. He tries to get froggy. He tries to get froggy again. How are you going to tell me? How are you going to? I'm like, dude, you did this for eight weeks. Yep. And now here you are again. I'd rather him say, made his decision. And then afterwards, if he wanted to share that a tragedy happened yep. after the fact yep. and share that, then he could have. But he made everything based off of him. Yep. And thinking he was going to end up like Cinderella. Yeah. I just don't think it was right. So long after, because we found out, because, okay, so they were, we watched it, right? Yeah. And we saw them, and then they said that they had day two, and we're looking at day two, and they were wearing the same clothes. They were wearing, we were like, why is the same exact clothes? And they weren't like the same clothes. So the reason for it is because we find out later. That Chris and Paige's time with the the therapist and with the the uh, experts Expert. was six, six hours. Hours. That's a that that's, canceling even that's regular an exorcism canceling. right there. Shut up. <laughs> Shut. <laughs> that that even a regular counseling session session shouldn't be over an hour hour right. and a half top. Right. Because you need to really be able to process right. think through. Right. Figure out what's the best solutions for you to come back Mm -hmm. and re-engage what you learned from the session. For them to be there that long, that means they had to do intense therapy at one time Mm -hmm. to get to the point of her making a clear decision. Him making a clear decision and letting it go. Right. Because it is, I, I feel like that's what an abuser looked like. We talk about red flags, about people who will pull you away from your family, mm-hmm. have you only focus on them. Mm-hmm. They want you only to be around them. Mm-hmm. And abuse doesn't have to be physical. Exactly. People can be abused emotionally. Yep. He, he, one minute, I'm in, I'm with you, mm-hmm. I want you. Then the next minute, no. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like you. I'm not attracted to you. Mm-hmm. I, I I don't see this. Mm-hmm. And you keep playing with people's emotions and having. You know what down. I I think about. What do you think about? When what you said, kind of that re- pushing away, pulling in. Mm-hmm. One of the things. I'm now. I'm not a fisherman, right? But one of the things when you go fishing is you 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 give a little slack, mm-hmm. let the fish think that they're getting away, and then mm-hmm. you pull that hook, mm-hmm. you pull that rope or that mm-hmm. line. To sink that hook in further, Mm -hmm. you let that fish go a little more slack, and then you keep pulling it in. Why? Because you're wearing down Mm -hmm. the the defense of that fish. Mm -hmm. Likewise, in a situation Mm -hmm. like this, you have someone who does this whole, uh, give you a little slack, I don't want you, I don't like you, Mm -hmm. oh, but you're the best thing that I I never cherished, Mm -hmm. Uh, but I'm going to push you away. So he keeps doing this with her. Mm -hmm. Um, and, And so, yeah, the six hours, part of it, yes, it was, of course, it seems like there were times where she had to go away with the producers and right. she's like, I need y'all to talk to me. Right. I, listen, if I was a producer, I would have been like, look, let's cue up some of the finer moments of this relationship. Right. Let me remind you what he's actually right. said about you instead before of what he's saying right now. Because that's what they said. So let's yeah. talk about what how you were talking about her before you even knew they were going to be a right. baby. Didn't you say you weren't attracted to her? Yep. Then you say you didn't know because how you felt about her and what you thought about her. So yeah. before baby, no baby, whatever. Right. So. So. Long story short, he wanted to try and continue the relationship. She is not for it. And then, though, when we end up with the couples rejoining. Yeah. We find out that some things been going on that she said she wasn't going to share. Well, I think she was just not going to share about the the miscarriage. I think that's what she was talking about. Oh, I think okay. she was talking about she wasn't going to share about the miscarriage because that's not Chris. that's okay. not her story to tell. That's not her that's information true. to share. So that's what I perceive from that. Okay. So I wanted to but, make sure. But I, 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 they again, you know, she still leaves the door open that you know maybe we can be best friends. Heck no, leave that alone. Don't mess with that. 
wave to him across mm-hmm. the highway if that don't mm-mm. Mm-mm. leave so, that alone yeah. because again see he's still putting it on strong right so he comes and apologize right. he comes late right. so here they are all talking about him <laughs> like girl why are you trying to keep with that mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden he shows up late apologize to everybody he apologizing to everyone how y'all doing yeah you I, know, i'm so I sorry how i acted this, i like, learned this mm-mm. I'm so excited you learned this. And here she go, oh, Chris, I'm so proud of you. She cheesing a little oh, too much for me. I'm oh sorry. Oh, my gosh. Good job, Chris. She no, too much. you get no kudos. <laughs> you get no pats on the back. Mm-hmm. This is you trying to grow up. Good for you. I'm going to keep my praise to myself. Yep. Keep it in my head. Because yep. you're not getting it from me. Yeah. Because these are the things you should have done. Mm-hmm. And so I can't praise someone who should have done these things. Right. And now you're feeding into that. You keep. It's I'm just not going to spe- praise you for for being normal. <laughs> for finally. For being finally normal. being normal. For finally <laughs> acting like a human, like a man. I'm not going to praise you for that. You didn't step up and go beyond. That's what I give praise for. That's right. What I, that's what it's like. Okay, wow, you really stepped up. Right. Here. You're doing but what you're just supposed being to do. Decent. Being respectful and just, honest, and co- I was like, you should have came here tonight mm-mm. and and say what you said, right. and not thinking more of that. I mean, we I think everyone should have a standard. Let, mm-hmm. Let's say this. Yep. Everyone should have a standard. Yep. Oh, but I'm just trying to give them a try. I can see so much in them. No, 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 no. First, they have to meet your basic standard. Yep. And at the moment, he didn't have any basic standard. Right. And he's not showing enough consistency yep. for you to move forward. Our problem is, is that people continue to take people back and they show no growth. Mm-hmm. When you see growth, you have to see consistency over long right. periods of time. Right. So, and that's a even, bar. Even if it's incremental growth, even if it's, you did this, great. Now you move to this level. You did. There's growth there. And I don't have to be in your face or know you or us be friends for me to see that from afar. Nope. If there's some connection I run in your year and, and, we, and by chance I run over your me- social media or whatever, okay, he's grown. Bless the Lord. But I've moved <laughs> on to someone who's at my standard yes. and someone I can trust. To me, when you break trust so early and it's so deep, I feel like I need to move on. When, when there is no investment. There's no investment. There's, there's a, yes, they're investing eight weeks of their life for a TV show, potentially a marriage. Absolutely. But there was no real investment That's true. Of, of feelings, of emotions That's into true. this relationship. Because from day, day, not even the full 24 hours later, that next morning, he's off, uh, she thought, being eaten by a bear. But he's off having this panic attack, right? So, so I, I get the hope that Paige is holding out for. I think everybody wants that. I think everybody desires to, it. deserves that, right? Deserves to have that type of relationship, but she's not finding it in him. And no matter how much dirt you dig through, I don't know that he has it to give her at this point. Correct. A few years from now, if he's grown. Awesome. Yeah. But who needs but to she, wait for that thing? She, let that be I, for the next person. Listen. Let, let it be for somebody else. I, again, I think Married at First Sight needs to do right by Paige and give her an entire season where they try and find, <laughs> do her bachelorette style, let her find someone and pick someone for herself because they, they, they I was about to say something else, but they messed it up on this one. It was messy. They jacked this one up. So, put. yeah. And I, and I hope her well. I hope. Mm-hmm. She let someone else work on Chris. Yeah. Don't let that be her project. Mercedes gave up too, so. Mercedes was like, I'm not even I trying to get back. I ain't even trying to get back. All right. So then, yeah, we see the the next week will be, of course, the reunion um, or the updates. So we will see. Yeah. And Chris tried to get Froggy on. What's his face? The I don't know. Host. Whatever the host name is. Listen. <laughs> He's gonna he gonna jump with the wrong person. He she should. He's gonna will. jump with the wrong person one of these he, days. He's gonna so. find somebody he listen, should. I know Southside Chicago. He's gonna jump with the wrong person one of these days. <laughs> All right, but that's enough. Anything else? 
No. no. All I'm right. Done. Yeah, I'm we're finished. we're done. We we're, we're excited to see what happens at the reunion. Finished. See what's going on. Um, but this has been the recap reaction for Married at First Sight. Let us know in the comments what you think. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know what stood out to you. If we missed something, let us know. We'll talk okay. about it in the comments. Hit that subscribe button. We'll Let's see you again still next together. time. Yeah, if y'all know who's already <laughs> still together, look, put that in the comments. Let us know. know. Y'all gave us the scoop already okay. about the about the uh, uh, the miscarriage and some other things. So mm. definitely let us know what y'all find Just out. We will talk tea. about it. All right, y'all have a good one. Be blessed. See you next time. All right.